Hmm. Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing uh, the Zaya mid lane again versus Lissandra this game. Uh, the good news is that she has a telegraphed way of engaging. The bad news is that I'm ultimate reliant for uh, stopping that. Uh, I've been playing it. I think I have a positive win rate right now. And in fact, yesterday I, I played versus rank 30 in NA, some mid laner. Uh, and after I killed him, I think the second time, he just left the game. <laughs> he literally, he rage quit. So that's going to go on the second channel because that's pretty good <laughs> title and thumbnail for sure. Making somebody rage quit with Zaya mid. <laughs> I couldn't believe that he actually just left <laughs> after dying. All he he died to a Q. Like he was walking up, he was playing Syndra. Gosh, that's such an annoying matchup for any matchup. Like really, even versus a like a counter matchup. Like let's say if I picked Fizz and do it or something, I don't like that either. So she's stepping up to hit Q on me. I'm just backing up every time, trying to make it so I don't get punished. Okay, but I'm doing a terrible job at CSing though. Like I should not be missing these CS, so uh, doing a terrible job right now. Should not be missing random CS. I took TP this game. Uh, you take TP, can shove in, get 400 gold, buy tier, and then ba base, and then TP back. Feels really good. Um, wow, that did some juicy damage, by the way. She just walked straight onto my. My feather is there for some reason, so really good trade for us. Hit her with the feathers back. Nice damage. Getting airy procs off on her too. Hitting some of these feathers that are uh, just auto trades. I, I'm stepping up because I'm level 3 and she isn't, so I'm just trying to, like, create pressure right now. Oh, huge trade. 176 damage for just Q plus E there. You can see this person is not very comfortable right now. I'm so far up I could get ganked. It is a Rengar, though. Oh. I guess I just die? Yeah, I die 100%. Dude, am I blind? How did the guy even get through this ward? I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Sucks that also bot lane just literally lost. This guy used his flash. We almost got her, but I got stunned by Jax, which kind of ruined it. Gonna try to poke her with the Q here. Oh, nice. I can even E because she was still standing on top of it. Sometimes you don't want to use your E because sometimes they immediately run off of it so it just doesn't land. Nice, they killed Rengar, so we're safe mid too. That means that he's definitely not here because he's he's dead. <laughs> Just trying to get poke off still. Also stacking tier. I would say that wasn't that bad for us. Oh, I thought she stepped on my feathers. How feathers work is that like this feather, if you're standing here, it still hits. There's like a little bit of um like range to the feather than the actual location of it for some reason. Now the issue with Zaya mid, I've noticed by the way, is that even though you can punish people, 
We win this, don't we? Because I have Nautilus coming. Ultimate plus Q. There, I, I was pinging the minions because I was one EXP from six, so I was asking him to take it. I don't know if he did it on purpose, if he just couldn't catch up to that guy, but... The reason why I figured we would we would win is because I'm pretty sure Lissandra Ignite was still down, so she actually doesn't... Lissandra damage is quite low. The thing that she, like, is really good at is obviously being able to lock you down for a long time, but she's not six yet. So when Pike goes in, he uses E, I flash it. The only thing he has left is Q me back and just autos. And I felt like I... From being full HP, there was no way for me to realistically die there. Oh, nice. Grab that kill. Ooh, Lissandra's coming now. But she's five. Uh, maybe my team dies no matter what. Yeah, he is so dead. Even with Shen ulti, probably he would die, right? That's why Shen's not using it. Oh, wait, he's alive. Never mind. I was wrong. Okay, we'll just hit mid tower here. We are up so much CS. Oh, Rengar six. Did he ulti bot? I think he didn't. I'm gonna assume that Rengar has ultimate. So I'm gonna play kind of far back since I don't have ultimate myself. Okay, she just walked onto my feathers again, so just free damage. Oh, Shen's ulting bot. Nice. Oh, wait. She died because Lissandra somehow rotated behind. Well, sorry, dude. The reason why I wasn't able to pressure is because of the Rengar, so... Wait, she didn't ulti you bot? Damn it. I was really banking on Samir getting ultied. I guess she just died to just a Lissandra E. I'm surprised she died so quickly. Damn, that sucks. I guess she didn't ping anything, so it's just an assumption. My bad on that one. Shouldn't be assuming that you... <sighs> that they use something on her. We almost killed Lissandra, but just not enough damage. I mean, there was no way out. <clears throat> Pretty sure. Oh, whoops. I bet on the question mark ping. She's here. Nice damage. A little bit of poke. Now, I don't have ultimate, so I'm wondering if I'm going to get re-ganked. He's dead. The thing that I knew was going to happen is that if I do get ganked, firstly, Rengars will always commit. Doesn't matter if it's actually a bad play. So, he goes for me. I already had feathers back here, so all I did was just bring them back. Because when he goes in, I'm trying to snare him underneath my tower, and it worked. So that was my plan, and it thankfully made it so we could trade one for one. Because, I mean, if you're going to burn Ringer ulti and flash in a ulti-less Zaya with no flash, that's that's favor favorable for us, right? Because now we'll be maybe able to go on the offensive, because now we have our... Abilities that allow us to play aggressive again. Now, Lissandra didn't use ultimate as well, so gotta remember that. That means that I'm very easily still gankable. I actually have my Eclipse. I think it's actually really, really important to buy this, so I'm just gonna buy it. 
It is a massive purchase for us. Hold this TP back mid. Make it so we can continue the pressure without having to run back. Nice, slow bit of poke damage, and then just immediately run away. Okay, Rengar went bot. Is Echo gonna die? Okay, I think he's okay. I snared her, so she can't go. That was just Q auto, so then I had three stacks, then E. I ultied because I felt like he was going to jump on me there. The first thing I did was once again Q auto, make it so he gets snared. Then he forced himself to use his uh, fury, his... I, I don't know what it's called, his voracious charges. Uh, he used them. So then he no longer has his, like, damage, because most of his damage comes from his empowered stuff. So, it's really good stuff so far. I got some comments in my last Saya video about people saying that the damage looked kind of low. I don't, I don't know what you, if you guys are watching the same video that I'm uploading, but... <laughs> dude, it feels like I'm doing a lot. It's little chunks over and over again, but the thing is that the big damage comes in if they go on you. That's the thing, like, the reason why it's only little chunks at a time is because people are respecting me. I would imagine that if I smurfed using this, I would actually be able to kill on repeat because people would probably play really aggressive and not understand that, like, you're putting yourself into even more of my feathers. Because I'm only hitting, like, one to three... Feathers at a time, not even hitting a big amount. But also, it's just early game damage, too. Is actually not even, like, the big point for this type of build. It's when you reach 3 core. Even 2 core is strong, but 3 core is, I think, a little bit stronger. Little bit of damage on that guy, and by a little bit, I mean, like, one third of her HP, just for, with Q plus E. Plus, and because it's two different abilities, it procs your Eclipse. So. Uh, why did I just hear Rengar? I'm sorry, dude. My E was down. It's so awkward, man. It's so awkward. I had to get out of range. If I ulti, Lissandra will ulti me afterwards. It's because I just used my E. So what is the mistake? That I tried to harass her underneath tower? I feel like that's not the mistake. I mean, that's such a hindsight thing. Oh, I shouldn't be poking her underneath tower there? I mean, I guess that is the thing, though. Like, that could have maybe saved me. Because if I had my E available, I can use it. Man, Rengar would have gotten hit by uh, so many feathers there. I had Q plus, I think, one auto attack plus my ultimate. All of my stacks down. Rengar is quite a menace, isn't he? Oh, I didn't think that would land, so I didn't even use my E back. I thought it missed. No, oh, not my ward. Wait, that actually missed her. Wow. Oh no, it didn't. Never mind. Oh my gosh, am I getting ganked by Pike? Why does she do that? There's like literally no reason for her to throw her claw at me, right? Unless somebody else is here. The Rengar was top, so I know it can't be him. Okay, I have my ultimate again, so thankfully if I do get ganked, I have potential to outplay. 
Or trade one for one. I want that cannon. Alright, the Rengar needs to die, right? Because he has like three core. Oh. Free ward, thanks. Nice kill, nice kill. Okay, I'm gonna start rotating bot because Rengar's coming. Okay, nice kill on Rengar. The Lissandra's still coming. I missed, bro. What? Wow, how did she get over there? I, I didn't snare her. That sucks. I haven't been using my ultimate for damage before, so that's also a thing. Oh, nice. Got her with the auto attack. We can probably get this. Damn, that guy's so low. We almost got him. My Q damage was pretty low there. Okay, she'll die. Oh, she killed both because I was able to... Okay, I snared this guy somehow. I mean, I was just using Q plus E, but I guess I had more feathers on the ground from earlier, so... That was pretty lucky. Nice. Double for one. It's always good. All right, let's go protect bot. Thankfully, I have TP this game, so going on side lane, at least I can like still join fights. Preferably, I want to wait for my ultimate though before joining. I think they killed this guy. It doesn't look like they need a TP here. I think Jax beats me. So I'm not interested in face checking him. That's why I put down that vision, because I didn't know if he was maybe... Some people sit inside that brush while people wave flare. Nice kill on Pike. I was rotating to the dragon, but I'm pretty sure my team just gets it because uh, Rengar is dead, and that's really their whole team right now. I wonder if Lissandra can 100 to 0 me with Ignite. Rengar is top, so we're good bot. In fact, nobody's bot. The only person that could be bot is Ezreal. Or Pike. This guy steps up, I can fight him. Yeah, that guy died instantly, so can't do anything about that. Seems that we can't really fight anywhere. Going grudge. I was thinking about almost TPing in and asking my team to try to stop the rift together. Oh wow, I actually got hit. Ouch.
Nice. Half half of his HP just from one hit. Pretty big. Oh, very close to hitting that guy too. Clear out vision control. There's nothing up for a while. I'm pretty scared to go top. Only because if Rengar is sitting in one of these brushes, I would basically just die. <sighs> Please. Don't tell me I'm gonna die. Oh, Rengar was actually mid. I was checking the brush with my feathers. An airy would get procced if uh, there was somebody in it. Oh. Okay, I don't have Last Whisper yet, but I wonder if I can actually still beat him. I mean, Eclipse gives magic pen. Or, I mean, not magic. It gives armor pen. 4%. Okay, it's not really much to work with, actually. Yeah, it chunks. 400 damage to somebody who has armor and I have no pen. I actually have quite a low cooldown on this. Goodness. K got his flash. Ooh. Okay, never mind. I thought that was going to go much worse than it actually did. My goodness. Oh, okay. No, that guy just crit me for 800. Jeez, what the hell was that? Well, he has no flash, so he should die. I guess I'm I'm not used to my Zaya ultimate yet. I feel like I should have been able to hit the Rengar there with my ultimate and snare him. I wonder how I messed it up. I mean, I think it's not bad using it this way. It kind of forces him to run this way. Maybe sometimes there's just no way to land it. Maybe sometimes there's just no way. Sucks that my KP is so low because Echo's just killing people. I didn't really get to join too many team fights this game so far. I have TP up, but I don't know why these guys would contest when Rengar's dead. Seems kind of <laughs> troll to do. You guys are actually contesting? No way. Yeah, they're backing up. Alright, back top I go. I mean, I have TP, so I'm kind of fine matching them because at least I can join fights, you know? Oh, Rengar? Never mind. Alright, we have our item. Let's go buy. This is a huge purchase for us. Uh, with the slow being available, I actually think I can... I heard that you can uh, kite people pretty well. Normally games end before I reach this point, so I'm kind of glad that the game is a little bit longer. <laughs> I have not reached very many late game points so far with this build. Normally my team will want to FF by the time that we make it to late game. If we're losing. Nice, I think he's dead.
She ultied herself, just waiting. Not really sure why they went in like that, but we take those. Little bit of poke damage. They both stepped on the the feather again. I don't really want a base. I don't have anything to do. I I would buy a long sword. It's not really what I want to purchase right now. I'll bring our ultied. Okay, it's down. Now we know. A little bit of poke damage on Liz here. And Rengar. Ooh. That's some damage. Okay, they are over here, so we need to be prepped. Okay, nice. Got his flash full played. It's hard to like for me to face check rather than Echo, because Echo can just ulti away. Cause if I walk into Lissandra, it's just can't react in speed depending on if uh I have no vision. I can't even see her cast animation, right? So it's a bit spooky. Rengar is probably gonna ulti, so we can work towards that. Just wait. If Rengar ultis, that's good, because then we know that uh he has no way to jump into pit because he just used his flash recently. So that would be the only way that he actually can get in. I reached level 6. Or not 6, 16. Okay, I just chunked the guy a little bit. Oh yeah, we don't have to do anything because somehow Shen actually beat the other guy, so... Dude, I got scared. I didn't know if he was just going to one-shot me, so I flashed away. Nice GG, guys. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Zaya commentary. Uh, I'm curious about my damage this game. I feel like I was doing pretty good poke. Unfortunately, like, my team's just making plays without me, so my KP is low, but pretty sure we would have been fine if my team did make those plays to contribute quite a bit. Why am I... I was trying to move upward, but the Nexus hitbox is so big that you can't click up. <laughs> Well played Echo, literally killing everybody with a single combo. Yeah, I actually did most damage in the game. So, uh, hopefully this helps you guys. Once again, just more knowledge about what Zaya can do. You know, despite my team playing well, I mean, there was plenty of deaths to bot lane and stuff. You could definitely see that it's pretty easy to play. Just spam Q, just spam people step on feathers just come back and the damage ramps up over time eventually we're gonna get a game where i'm fed and then like i'm hard carrying this game like it was all right i guess it's not like too impressive but definitely for laning phase it was impressive right i was able to do a lot so once again hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary uh if you did like the video and i'll see you guys next time